Welcome to the Lexus ES300 redo project. We're continuing with stage three, the engine compartment. Okay, we're gonna do a fluid exchange, what's commonly called as a flush. So we're gonna detach this transmission return line from the radiator going back to the transmission. So I move the hose clamp below the connection point. And now I'm using this hose plier and work this hose off this connection area. Okay, there. All right. Plastic tubing here, which fits inside the hose we disconnected. And we're gonna run this plastic tubing into our waste container, which is what we have right here. And this will capture of the dirty transmission oil while the engine's running. Now before we do the transmission flush or fluid exchange, I'm going to drain out whatever oil is in the oil pan, put it in my waste container. So I'm going to guess like two and a half quarts is going to come out. All right, we'll just plug this back up and see how much oil drained out. around two and a half, three quarts came out. So this is an oil pump and we're going to put it into the dipstick porthole. Now if you don't have a dipstick porthole, if, the, if you could locate the transmission's side service port for those that don't have dipsticks anymore. And we'll take this supply hose and put this into the container of the new transmission fluid. So now we're going to pump in four quarts of transmission fluid back into the transmission oil pan. We purposely overfilled the transmission by around a quart and a half so that when we start the engine and the engine starts pumping out the old oil, we'll be pumping in new oil to make sure that it doesn't drain all the way down to nothing. We're doing an eight quart fluid exchange. Now we have another four quart container of new transmission fluid. I'm going to start the car now. So when this fluid level, the dirty fluid in the waste container reaches this two gallon mark, which is eight quarts, I'm going to be shutting the engine off. That's a fluid exchange. If you want this to come out bright red, you may have to do another gallon, pump another gallon through. But usually I found exchanging eight quarts of transmission fluid results in a no noticeable improvement in transmission shifting and smoothness. Now we connect the transmission return line. There. Right there. It's 
right at the hot mark. But now the fluid's red. Maybe a couple ounces high. That's okay. And we're done.